Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Where today we're going to be teaching you how to make banked turns in Roblox for your Roblox racetrack or anything else. And first of all, what you're going to need is the Archimedes 2 version 2.4 plugin. And we will link this because if you go to the library and you search this in plugins, it will not show up. There's going to be a bunch of bonnet versions. So simply install it and things will open up and then I'll say it's installed and then go and make your game. Alright guys, so once you're at the create tab, click create new experience and Roblox Studio will open up like usual and then select, I guess any of these, we're going to select a base plate, you can remove the spawn. Then go to your plugins after it's installed, it should pop up, and it is this one with the half circle on it. Click launch. Well, not right now, actually. We have to get steps going first. So right now, you're going to design your turn. So it's simple. Get a part and select it, scale it. This is going to be a racetrack apron. And we have some models here that can help us create a track. This is my Chick-fil-A Cup Series race car. And what you can do is, this is the bottom of the track, you know. And then you can just change the color of the track. And then the material, I highly suggest concrete for this. Duplicate this, move it over. And we're going to make the line on the bottom of the track. To separate this from the banked curve, you can... Yellow or white is good for this one. Material concrete. Then add a new part coloring this. And then wedge. And then rotate the wedge. So it's to the point where it's matched up with the turn. Move the curve up to right where it's connected to the yellow. And you can design this any way you want. Move the wedge over. This is your banking for the track. So I suggest having this like big enough for cars can pass each other. You change the size there. And then line that up perfectly with that. And then duplicate this once again. You can do that with Control D on your keyboard. Then we can make a wall, so raise this up. Typically walls are white, unless you got your track different. Now we're just going to duplicate this, move it over here. And then you can scale this down to the bottom. And then this is our bottom wall for the tracks. So now our track is done. You really don't need it or the car anymore. But I'm just going to name these for the model. So we can do um, name. And this can be outside wall. It doesn't matter in the long run what you name this. Banked turn. Sep separator. This can be apron. And then this is inside wall. Just like that. So now drag your mouse up here, hold down, and then drag it on your screen to create a box. Right click on this, actually, just click, just do Control G on your keyboard. Or you could right click on this and get group. But I actually, for some reason, don't think Roblox screen records this message. I don't think. I think it may. Maybe when you add pieces, but I've noticed that. Name the model track part, and there you go. You've made your basic track design. And you can add more to it as well. Click on the track, go to plugins, open Archimedes. And now you're going to see it's confusing first thing. But go to angle, change it to like 2 for the start. So we can actually not have it all over the place. If you click X, it's going to be like this. Click Y, it's going to be on top. Click Z, it's going to be to the side. That's how we're going to want it. Click Z squared, 
is going to be like that as well. I think that's going up, though. Let's see what happens. Um, I think that actually might work. And then Y squared, and if you ever X out, click select. Go back to it. Y squared, top. X squared, same thing. So Z squared or Z seems to work just fine. In fact, this seems a little smoother. So for select which one looks like it's actually to the side and going to be a turn. When you're done with this, click render circle and you can actually change the angle. This is going to decide how big your turn is. So let's just, the three is a good size for this. Click render once and then you'll see your curve will start coming in for your race turn. Eventually line it up so this is where the cars would enter. And then try to line it up right. So they go here. And then that's where they would exit. So there you go. You got kind of your banked tur curve. And then you can remove this. You can move it back to your positioning. And there you go. You got kind of a nice little racetrack for yourself and then you can get a part to kind of bank this down and connect the stretch and then you can duplicate this over and kind of move it and rotate it around or you can just redo the track appliances but for Archimedes let's do some cool other things with it launch it again and here if you click invert axis it's just going to opposite the track if you click flip axis it's going to move it that direction and without the invert it just will redo it that way and that's really all you really have to see for that and if you want to go downwards I think there's a way yes right here click make sure flip axis is on make sure on Z click a render circle and you will actually be able to go up hills with this Click invert axis and flip and you can go the other way. I believe if you just turn off flip, you will be able to go straight down while Z is on. So there you go. That is how you make banked curves. And actually I think we might be able to test this out. Make sure the plugin's closed when you're testing other parts. So there we got the uh, car. Then we can just put it here because I don't think we have a spawn. And we did the most important step incorrectly. <laughs> um, for this, go search part in the Roblox thing. And this is the car we got can't be anchored. And then uh, go to the pieces you actually want. And then click on one. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then press shift as you click the bottom piece. Scroll down here, make sure Anchor is on for every single part because now it won't be all over the place. I think Roblox should default their parts as Anchor because every time I forget. And for some reason, our car is not working properly. So typically, car shouldn't do, doesn't have to be anchored. Maybe it's just not welded together in this new game, but I do have other cars. I believe I do. Let's see, um, I think right here is another car. We'll see if this one works. It's kind of the same model, but it's still a bit different. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so let's test our track out. If you get enough speed, you'll be able to enter the bank. And then there you go. Your bank curve and you can get off the track and eventually circle your way around to get back on and you can make a complete circle out of this actually by simply doing this clicking on the part plugins Z squared render once and eventually it will connect all the way around to your original track piece And then boom, right there, we have it. And then the car, play here. And this is not really realistic, a complete circular racetrack, but it's a simple way you can build a nice track. 
get onto the track when you can, and here you can actually really test out the track curves when it's a complete circle. And that will do it for this tutorial. So if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials in Roblox. And that being said, be sure to again like and subscribe. And that will do it. So this is the super speedway of the videos. So see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.